Hello, my name is Jake and I'm part of the team behind SQL Monitor and today I'm going to show you the new reporting module that we've developed as a part of SQL Monitor version 7. When you first open up SQL Monitor v7 you'll notice there's a new tab called reports. Let's go ahead and click on this tab. By default you're presented with an example report that covers your entire SQL Server estate for the last seven days. You can change the duration of what you're looking at here, as well as its endpoint here. I'm going to look at the last 28 days, up until last Sunday at 23.59 p.m. We now see a number of graphs, and first we have the instances with the lowest uptime, and if you hover over one of the bars, you can see what the uptime for that server was over the period covered by the report. On fastest filling disks, we can see how full the disks are and get a prediction of how much time we have left until they're full. For this disk, it's predicting that it's going to fill up at nine days left at the current rate. So this is something that we're probably going to want to look into or even potentially start ordering more disk space. Also, if I'm not interested in uh, this orange line, for example, I can go ahead and turn it off if I'd like. The next panel is the longest running queries. It displays the query, the server, and the total time this query has run over the reporting period. The alert summary shows how many SQL Monitor alerts have been raised as well as their severity. We can also see how the system's performing compared to the previous 28 days. Obviously this estate is having a few issues this month. Underneath is a summary of the main types of alerts being raised. I'm not too bothered about the long running queries, but I'd be very concerned if I had this many alerts for instance unreachable. Luckily, this is just one of our test environments, so nothing to lose sleep over. The last metric that covers the entire estate is server waits by day. Here we can see there were an unusual number of waits on the 18th of January on this particular server. If I want to change the position of a particular graph in the report, I can simply move it up or down by clicking here or I can even change the size of the tile by clicking Edit Tile. Let's go ahead and make this one full width. If I want to export this report, I can simply create a PDF of it by clicking on the little cog up here at the top. All these metrics are looking at the entire state of SQL servers that we're monitoring. However, we might want to look at some metrics for an individual server. So let's go ahead and create a new report. I want to see some metrics for a particular server, in this case, RG SQL 06. So I'll name the report RG SQL 06 metrics. You can set the period that the report covers and also set when and if you'd like this report to automatically be emailed to you. So let's set this so it's emailed to me every Monday morning at 9.15. And here I put in my email address and the address of anyone else who needs to see it, potentially my boss. And I can also send a test email to make sure everything's working well. We now have a blank report, so let's go ahead and start adding tiles. The first thing I want to add is SQL Server Processor Time. You can change the title of the graph here, or like me, stick with the default for now. You can also change the size as I showed earlier. I now click on the server I'm interested in and click add. We then repeat the process to add another tile. One thing to note is that all of the metrics are available in the analysis tab. So if you have a custom metric setup, you can also include that in the report as well. The next metric I want to add is user connections. So I scroll down, select the server again and click add. And you can continue this process until you've added you the metrics that you need. Um, and customize the metrics as well. So I can, if I want, also incorporate summary titles in the report. So if in this report I wanted the alert summary, I can add that as well. Now I've gone through the trouble of adding all the metrics for RJ, RG SQL 06, and if I want to create the same report for RG SQL 07, I can copy the report here in the settings, and now I have a copy. And so now all I need to do is edit each tile to display the information for the server I'm interested in. 
The flexibility of the reporting module in SQL Modern means that you're sent just the information you need at exactly when you need it. It's easy to create, customize, and share with the rest of your team. Go ahead and download SQL Modern now and see for yourself. And also don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos from Redgate.